WWE NXT, March 10th, 2021. Earlier today, the four, at the time, championship combatants arrived. Finn Balor, Adam Cole, Io Shirai, and Tony Storm. Regal is in the ring for a promo. He has promised two major announcements, and he's not going to waste time. He's going to make them right now. The first is that the next takeover will be a two-night event. Oh, what a week that's going to be, Vinny. That's going to be something else. Nine days of WWE programming. In Raw, seven days? Impressive. Raw, Hall of Fame. No, nine and nine days. Raw, Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. NXT Wednesday, yeah. NXT Thursday, Check. SmackDown Friday, right. WrestleMania Saturday, WrestleMania okay. Sunday, cool. Raw Monday, yeah. NXT Tuesday. Is that what NXT is moving to Every Tuesday? single... Well, it. I mean, I... It remains to be you. seen now that ESPN got the NHL deal. I see. So there's still more negotiations to be done, mm-hmm. but uh, the decision to move them, which was official internally, they may have jumped the gun. Yes. So we'll see what happens. Right. Well, regardless, there will be NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver Night 1, Wednesday, April 7th on WWE Network. And then TakeOver Stand and, Stand and Deliver Night 2, Thursday, April 8th, which will be on Peacock. And that seems to me like a smart way to do like a, 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 a soft push into the world of Peacock for network subscribers. Well, we'll find out if it works, too. Yeah, yes. Before that's WrestleMania. Yeah. That's, a, that's actually a very good point. It's time for the second announcement. He has all the women in NXT, and I can only assume many of these women have not actually even been on TV yet because there were dozens and dozens of women in this aisle. There were so many women that if you told me that a few of them had just been fans, I mean, I would have believed you. I, I, there was I, like I, 50 women out there. Yeah. He invites Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai into the ring. Says the two of you won the Dusty Dusty Rhodes Classic. Last week, you, you, you earned a tag team title match against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Last week, you got that match... You are screwed. Not his exact words, but that's what he said. Uh, I've been waiting to hear from a decision from Adam Pierce and Raw Executives, and I'm tired of waiting. I'm making my own decision. I am crowning you the new NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. And he pulls away the curtain or the drape or the sheet or whatever it is, and there's shiny new belts. And they're just champions now. And Dakota cuts a... Starts as a babyface promo, putting over the, the women's division, how tough they all are. But then says, we beat all of you. And they had to create these special belts just for us. And Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart step up and say, you were undefeated in your half of the Dusty Rose bracket. We were undefeated in ours. We challenged you to a title match. And Regal says, okay. And so these belts, which just got introduced, will now be defended an hour later. Okay, so... I, I I wish that I could really tell you what happened, but, like, the story that I was given was, like, so convoluted, I still don't know what's going on, okay? Mm-hmm. But essentially, apparently what happened was they were going to introduce women's tag team titles for a while. This was not a last-minute decision. Okay. Because you actually have to make belts. Right. And that's, that's clear, yes. You don't make them overnight. I mean, you all saw what happened with the TNT title. <laughs> like, it was silver for a long time because they started making it, and then there was a pandemic, and so... I guess the gold plating company went broke, or I don't know what happened. But anyway, so they started making these belts, and for whatever reason, I think that the winners of the Dusty Cup were going to become the new champions. Okay. Okay. So the tournament was going to be longer, and they were going to be crowned when they won the tournament. But something happened, and I don't know what it was, and they decided we're just going to... The cup's going to be done when it was done at the last TakeOver event, okay? So, time came for the finals, and the belts weren't done. Mm -hmm. So, they decided, well, we'll just give them the cup. So, they got the cup, and then the belts came in. And the part of the story that I can't figure out is, okay, well, you just announced that there's a TakeOver, a two-day TakeOver Mania weekend. So, why didn't we do something... And haven't let. And maybe the idea was we just did a fucking tournament. We're gonna just turn around and do another fucking tournament. May as well just give them to the winners now, and then we'll just do whatever. I, I presume that's what happened. But anyway, we now have women's tag team champions. 
the biggest problem to me being that there wasn't even a good angle last week to set it up. No. It was a decent. shitty screw job. Yes. I mean, they lost. I mean, they lost, and the person that lost was unconscious in the ring. So, mm-hmm. really, this came off as, we're just going to gift you these belts. That's exactly yes. how it came off. So, I didn't like that. No. But. And if only I had known what was to come. Yes. Now, at the time, while well, I did not like Raquel and Dakota just being gifted these tag these these tag belts, it, I mean, the, the the guy in charge of this show was what's gifted the world heavyweight title just because there was suddenly a brand split. And so he has experience with that, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that was that, that part of it I did not like. But all in all, these two announcements combined took less than eight minutes. So I was fine with all that. You know, I can, I think, explain why they gifted the titles and then changed them an hour later. Okay? Because there was never going to be a WrestleMania takeover. This is something new. Like, I've been told months ago, there's not going to be a takeover Mania weekend because Mania is going to be two nights. NXT is usually Saturday and then WrestleMania is Sunday. Since WrestleMania is Saturday and Sunday, there's not going to be a Mania takeover. So, I think once they added it, then they needed to just have other matches. And it's clear that one of the matches is going to be Io Shirai versus Raquel. So, I think they gave the belts to Raquel and Dakota because they were supposed to get them in the Dusty Classic. But then they had to get the goddamn belt off Raquel because now she's going and probably going to win the other belt. <sighs> it, 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 it certainly all comes off as something very unplanned and thrown together at the last minute. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.